Chapter 12, Artificially Sculpted Coastlines, maybe. Let's do it. Here's my thumbnail, and this is the general gist of the Artificially Sculpted Coastlines concept, and that is that um, along the coast we can see linear, uh, or sometimes linear, but uh, path-like um, remnants of some type of... Uh, maneuver which uh, sculpted uh, much of or even all of Earth's uh, landscape including the coast and it just happens to be visible along the coast uh, potentially and I put a maybe next to it because um, a lot of examples are still I'm still on the fence about so like including this one in the thumbnail because I could imagine this being differential erosion or any number of things like a, a natural seam in the rock which erodes at a different rate than the surrounding rock or natural ribbon in the rock or layer uh, or what have you or a natural crack or something um, but it, it is a, a continuous linear trajectory here not seeming to affect this right here um, or at least we can't see it but uh, linear there and then collinear with this and um, let's jump into some examples okay so uh, Peru this one is a pretty good example of uh, awkwardly straight and regular um, passage here or gap and um, it, I mean, there's conventional theory for why uh, stacks and stumps develop um, and separate from the, the whole headland. Um, this one just happens to subjectively to my eye to look um, awkwardly uh, regular and um, straight and just long and straight. And we, should be compared with like this little thing and this one these looking more just like water erosion this looking a little stranger I don't know and then this uh, can't necessarily see from this image alone but looking like a possible sculpting maneuver this way like up here and then the this like this as one edge of it and then this as the other edge and then just like a um, so that's another thing like the in and like in and sweep and out uh, or, or like in and you'll see a big long path um, so that's something to look out for and uh, okay so this is in Laguna Beach California and once again this video will only be covering these images and then subsequent videos will have a Google Earth tour of some of some of these examples. Maybe I'll get to all of them. Um, okay, so Laguna Beach, California. There's just this uh, long groove in the rock here, and it's uh, it's not a trail. It's just like a a groove, and it's uh, awkward. <laughs> I would say it's not natural. Uh, it's certainly abrupt and not uh, seeming to flow with the, uh, the natural rock. It uh, could be foundational in some sense, but uh, this is the foundation of the building or like back here. I went here and it is like rock right here, like this right here behind it is still like natural rock. So this, this portion here is not the foundation of the building. So this isn't just a foundational construction move. Uh, as far as I can gather, it's some type of artificial um, terraforming maneuver, in my opinion, or uh, best guess. So Australia, this is one of my favorites for some reason. It's just like a long uh, horizontal uh, or transverse path here. And um, <clears throat> in certain historical photos, it shows up as fairly prominent in um, as some type of path going across and uh, yeah we'll check that out and then there's a 
like a, again a, a linear gap across this portion of the headland and it's collinear with this path thing so it could be a geological layer or like cross bedding as it's called or I'm not sure quite sure if that's the right term but um looking to me like uh, some kind of maneuver okay near Guadalupe California Uh, we've got some stuff here. You can't really see it at this altitude, but uh, just giving you a general picture, like something like linear. I think this is where the thumbnail is, uh, some th like a linear thing. Yeah, and then it could uh, collinear aspect continuing. And then we also have linear stuff over here. So uh, the idea again is something's zipping along the coast and zip. So here's a close up of uh, that one area and so it's like this and then like this so sculpting the coast maybe and uh, it's a maybe I don't know I could I could envision that being natural as well this one is a little more awkward the linear aspect here and then maybe just in front here and then this as well just a discontinuous gap suspicious to me Venezuela, okay, so the arc sweep is another aspect of, or uh, method by which coastlines uh, appear to have been um, sculpted. And it's not just ocean coasts, it's also lakes and stuff. And once again, could be beach ridges or whatever, um, but there's like angular aspects and awkwardly clean uh, features and, um, sometimes abruptly ending uh, little streaks and stuff just like little arc sweeps like a little arc sweep from here to here maybe um, so possibly artificial just at least stark and cartoonish looking to my eye Yonaguni and obviously in Yonaguni we have the underground uh, ruins I'm, I'm sorry underwater ruins or what's um, what kind of looks like ruins. I guess I should throw a picture in here, but um, it's like halfway between uh, gibberish and an archeological site. Um, so again, that's uh, that location is nearby to, to this stuff and uh, it's underwater and it's possible circumstantial evidence that this stuff we're seeing is also just kind of gibberish uh, patterns. So like dirt, dirt. This may or may not be a modern channel. Um, depends what this material is. If it's like solid rock or if it's like coral, uh, that that might. Uh, affect how believable this is as a modern project um, and then we have little lines like this and this and then this possibly continuing here uh, just little lines and uh, again like at the the edges or boundaries of these uh, little headland areas there's these lines and this one obviously blatant but perhaps modern, perhaps not. Uh, so it's uh, food for consideration. Kuria Island in Kiribati and many of the islands in this surrounding area uh, have this look to them, this kind of chunked out look. Uh, discussed this one several times, the uh, kind of chunk, like looking like something took bites out of the coast more or less. And We've got some interesting patterns in this uh, in the shallows here to consider. So there's that, and then nearby Beru Island in Kiribati, and same thing like these angular uh, little baylets, um, these angular uh, jagged coastal features, and even here. Like here, er, 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 er. Uh, just herky jerky angular stuff. Potentially natural, potentially modern work. Um, 
or conventional stuff and potentially weird terraforming business. Uh, this would be a good example of like a, a path that uh, enters into a maneuver. Like this is either an exit or enter path. Like it came in here and then like started sweeping, doing something, or it, alternatively it exited out this path after doing something along this uh, coast. And it's like a nice smooth contour here. And this is a very, very common thing around the planet. So it's uh, possibly of a very strange origin. And another thing here could be the natural bedrock ex uh, extruding or um, protruding. Um, but possible path here, uh, Beru Island still. Uh, very similar thing here in Australia. And this one's interesting because it has this very well-defined uh, like center groove or like little groove in the center, like one edge, another edge. And I don't know how well it shows up in this picture, but uh, it's 100 feet wide and could be a former river path, like a petrified riverbank or something like that. Uh, it's just looking like something came in and or uh, exited like like uh, like a hair clipper almost like a giant hair clipper or something uh, very high tech and I'm suspecting that whatever did all this is pretty high tech stuff and because this is like rock like solid rock so uh, I don't know how it would form it in this into this shape but it may have and then just down the way in Australia it doesn't look like much at first sight um, but then nice little zoom here and kind of see a path here like one edge of it the other edge of it and then also like here and here and even here it's pretty faint but you can see these like streaks so uh, I think we're dealing with multiple um, pass-throughs or um, something doing, uh, yeah, I guess multiple, uh, well, pass-throughs, pass I guess, expresses the idea. Multiple passes over an area, slightly different variations just to give it... Um, a slightly different look each time or remove more material or whatever it's doing. Okay. Spain, this guy, a fairly well-defined um, groove here. This could be uh, natural or modern dredging. It's possible. Uh, and then we see more stuff here. Could even be natural uh, former coastline, uh, like a beach ridge coastal dunes potentially or it might be like a sweep with this artificial daily bobber I'm talking about and we see some of the buildings for scale this is so I would guess this is about 100 feet across okay and then we also have uh, in the vicinity uh, this linear thing here which may be natural bedrock may not be uh, but plenty of linear paths in this area so we'll take a look there another common thing is um the idea of like uh, well i guess i touched on it already but a uh, clean swept coast and water will likely do this naturally um but there's a lot of areas where we have like a thin bit of land that's like awkwardly positioned and it doesn't mean it's artificial but i'm just presenting it as possible evidence or something to consider. So this one in China, uh, this one in Russia, it's like this island here, and then this nice smooth, continuous, odd, thin strip of land. And these looking very similar, uh, looking a little more natural, but one could imagine if these happen to join and then like stabilize over a number of years into a continuous uh, curve, then it might look similar to this. So this could be natural, 
it's just uh, very striking looking and worth worth investigating I think another one in Mexico this one's an interesting case because it's behind this barrier here so it's like already protected and then uh, there's this nice clean swept curve here potentially and also this possibly clean like swept by some type of artificial thing and um, yeah, I mean, it could be a situation where this, this, uh, what, what should we call it, barrier island or uh, spit or like barrier coast is like newer than this. So it could be that this formed recently and this is older. So this was already formed and then this formed in front of it. That could be. But if it's the case that this is older, then it's weird that this would form behind it in such a perfect uh, uh, curve like that in a uh, pro uh, more or less um, protected little uh, lagoon or uh, sh shielded from the main ocean currents. Um, I could be wrong on that, but it's just uh, one more variation to consider, like a nice clean curve, thin strip of land behind another. So worth considering. And then even stuff like this, maybe. And of course the streaks, which we talked about in the last videos. Uh, Lake Superior, this one, maybe some type of artificial thing, maybe a former coast of this uh, uh, river system here or lake system and this finger I would say is a little awkward as well a lot of weird little protrusions and, and gaps um, not just in the Great Lakes but pretty much everywhere and the the, uh, the very regular spacing it's like a very uniform path here it looks almost looks like something traced a path uh, could be wrong but just going off appearances and uh, this another similar thing like a like an edge of a coast which has a, a protruding um, weird path like or a tongue or almost like a pier but if you zoom in on it you can see it's doesn't appear to me to be any modern fishing or any type of pier or any modern operation and uh, that's if my memory serves me um, so we will look at this area and try and figure out if that's some type of weird artificial thing or some of the bedrock or uh, co coral deposit or I mean it's just very straight and regular okay and then San Simeon the idea of something like blazing across so in some places like on a smaller scale like on the headland here we would see like a small linear path through the uh through the rock but this is a larger scale version version of the same thing basically this is like a linear path like uh, usurping or interrupting the the headland area so something just like again like a hair clipper more or less or something like that a big high-tech device of some kind much higher tech than a hair clipper um, that's my guess anyways uh, similar thing here possibly these streaks potentially indicative of this this whoops this type of uh, linear um, maneuver or like sheared over worked over maneuver possibly and then just down the way, we have these linear ravines. Many of these around the planet, this is a very common thing. The uh, linear ravines, not just uh, on coastlines, but pretty much everywhere. So uh, keep an eye out for these guys. And these ones happen to be on the coast. So that's potentially suggestive that the coastline needs a, a close look as well. Uh, I don't really, it's, I can't really see anything like, I mean, Everywhere I've ever like hiked along the coast, I would say it looks 
pretty natural. I can't really say I've ever like stopped and been like, man, that looks pretty artificial. So this stuff is, I think, not, um, first of all, it's pretty big. And then, uh, so it's, it's not necessarily, uh, doesn't stick out at ground level. It doesn't stick out to the naked eye at ground level like it does in Google Earth. So, like if you're looking, if you're standing here looking at this, you wouldn't think, oh my god, that's so linear. But when you look at it from above, it does look a little weird. <clears throat> so more linear gouges here. I say gouge, but I don't quite know what the uh, uh, operation is that created this or a maneuver. Um, so multiple orientations possibly, and then mostly just these, uh, this direction here, some parallel stuff, possibly. Okay, and then same stretch of coast, we've got this linear um, path more or less, like a, you see the edge of it there, and possible underwater sculpting of the area. All right. And then uh, we're calling these linear ravines uh, further south in uh, Camp Pendleton, California. It's, uh, there's these ravines here. One, two, three. We've got like cross hatching there for uh, effect or whatever. And then I think these are about 20 or 30 feet across, if I remember correctly. And we've got several of them and some variations like, whoops, um, like meandering here and like this one, this one, and then tough to, <clears throat> tough to say what, what all is related to that versus what all is uh, modern stuff, because obviously this is uh, heavy modern activity in this area. So uh, it's possible that these are modern, but um, I, I, mm, I'm guessing no, especially since like in the next image we've got uh, in Mauritania, just to remember, we've got these very long linear straight ravines, like, like dead straight here. This one like going all the way across here. These are like miles long and I wouldn't call this a coastline, but um, this is just in the middle of the desert, more or less, but it's like a cliff, cliff line, and it's got these linear grooves, which are fairly inexplicable. This one, like, continuing on, like, as a straight line here, uh, very long, weird features, long grooves. So then when we look at these, it's not so surprising that we see these. I think it's probably a similar... Uh, similar author or similar um, st strategy that created those. Okay. Maine in USA, we've got, again, the idea of something like sculpting. Uh, so we have this faint line here, like dirt, and it's more visible in some photos than others, but this one you can kind of see it, like faint line there, and it continues here, so it's like Sorry. Uh, as if something like was sculpting part of the coast and then went like this and then so multiple pass throughs again and uh, and possibly this straight feature as well. And then I'm also seeing kind of a line right there maybe have to say all right sorry mouse foul or keyboard foul all right next up Russia uh, these um, these angular patches here along some stretch of coast and we see angular tree lines especially like right here little patchy chunks of uh, vegetation very awkward looking and fine little gouges potentially some of that possibly having to do with the natural 
layering or striations of rock. Um, and possibly even the image rendering. But uh, we'll check out that area. And it's similar to this area in Alaska. This is along a riverbank, not a uh, ocean coast. And we have these, like this area of cliffside. It looks like, if you look closely, you can see it looks like patchily or um, angularly chunked out or um, maneuvered maneuvered on and we see like lines like this like if you see this guy right here and this was like collinear with this weird thing right here plenty of lines in the area and then these uh this kind of chunkified or uh angularly worked over uh portion of this coast here you see faint parallel lines potentially and yeah, so, so uh, this um, this area of land may be artificially sculpted somehow. So this is another thing that we see quite often, uh, a linear uh, tidbit of land, like right at the edge of a bay, and could be some natural processes behind that, certainly. Uh, but it's a fairly common thing to see a straight edge and then a curve and then another straight edge like er, er, er. so uh, it's like straight in curve straight out uh, type of deal and this um, I don't know whether this is the edge of this maneuver or another maneuver on this side or something like that mm, just looking slightly slightly awkward Again, could be natural. Okay, Punta Umbria, Spain. So this we could throw in there. Here's the coast. And then often along coasts, we see these lines, uh, these long straight lines and this these, uh, wonky, derpy um, grids and parallel, sets of parallel lines. So we've got these lines, some you can make a case that it's like coastal management or whatever. Uh, uh, any number of things, really. Uh, and then right here, we have uh, all kinds of lines. We have these awkward grids, just very haphazard and wonky, weird, all kinds of lines in the area, um, just miscellaneous straight lines like here we have a na nice natural flow and then er, it's straight and then natural flow again uh, lines 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 so this would be some uh, possible evidence of artificial sculpting of coastal areas in my opinion and a closer look here just uh, just unused grid area and faint parallel lines and stuff more lines 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 so oddly sculpted when this happened i really don't know okay so this set of islands in the philippines apparently this is um mangrove forests and it was some public works project or something like that in the 1950s or thereabouts um, to like plant all these mangrove forests in these islands uh, if i'm remembering correctly but in some cases, the look of it, it's just like, it's too weird. Like, would you really do it like this? Um, and the, uh, the precision, for one thing, like, just the oddness of the, the choice of uh, paths and uh, chunks of mangrove outcrops or little mangrove tufts. So, uh, something weird going on here, I think. Possibly these are sculpted by something less conventional. So let's take a closer look at this. Take a look at those and these just big square chunks of different sizes. And uh, interesting to consider, so. Could be any number of 
explana explanations, including the uh, conventional one, which is that it was just planted and uh, managed in the 1950s or something like that. And then it's just been left to uh, to sit for a while, not maintained, something like that. And then see all this business, just like haphazard dirt. Like there's one line through here. It's just a lot of haphazard patterns. Those, those may be access channels. Um, apologies. And just lots of weird patterns, like squiggly, squiggly weirdness in my opinion. So, got more of it here, another island. Nice long line here, possibly some type of sculpting. Another thing that occurred to me is, what if the mangroves uh, were planted to obscure or to muddy the water of the pre-existing awkward patterns? So maybe, maybe this is new and then these patterns are old, but these were planted or created to uh, obscure the nature of whatever it looked, looked like before and to just add confusion into the mix so we can't really figure out what's going on. Like what if there was a long linear maneuver type thing here then to uh, cover that up they just planted some mangrove trees to make it look... Um, or like uh, to make it look more modern or like it's less suspicious somehow or something like that. Like if you, this is a little slightly off topic, but if you had like some ridiculous anomaly, um, like just sitting out in the open, like whether it be like a big rock shaped like a Tyrannosaurus Rex skull or something like that, or or, or just a big line in the middle of nowhere. Um, if you just put like a, uh, a post next to it, like think of what that would sub-communicate, like just a little sign. It could say like, it could just have a number and a letter on it, like Z52 or something like that. And you would, you would think, oh, this is understood and under control. And that's how your brain or the brain would uh, um, kind of write off the situation. like. It's it's uh, cataloged and classified, and there's it's managed and it's under control and uh, understood. So it, it it like all you would have to do to to get people to not investigate a, <laughs> um, a an anomalous feature on the earth is to like put stuff next to it that looks official, um, quote official unquote. If that makes sense. So this this could just be like the aesthetic of if officialness plopped on top of whatever weirdness was there, potentially. It's just one thought that crossed my head. I don't I don't know how likely that is, but it could make sense. Uh, it certainly makes more sense for this one because you you can still see all these squiggles, and I don't know why they would leave this here. I couldn't tell you. There's some some weird agreements going on, I think, or some strange, very strange um, rules to to how all of this is created and managed. I think very strange rules, or, or like a very strange game that's being played with uh, very confusing surface level uh, manifestations. Um, So here, just more of it, just like out in the open here, like what, 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 like what is this over here? Just like grids, random grids. And see like, this isn't looking like a modern project that's, that's uh, upkept. So maybe there weren't plans to upkeep it, so there's no big deal there, but uh, I don't know, strange looking, okay. All right, so let's move on to these islands in the Philippines as well, um, some ways away. Uh, the North Gigante Island in the Philippines. So the phenomenon is the heart at the end of a line, as I call it. And it's seen in many places along many coasts uh, around the world. And it's not just a heart, it's like 
like you kind of see it's like heart like and many variations on it and um, uh, derpy uh, little ver uh, yeah I guess variations in the shape and the look to it and like a line on on top here and then lines on the sides some have two lines going to them some have multiple lines going to them like this one so again I'm I'm just calling this pattern soup and uh, feature soup feature salad take your pick uh, here's another place in Kiribati pretty far away and we have the same thing just awkward little uh, heart line things with lines <laughs> like <laughs> And it's worth noting that there are heart-shaped fishing traps. So these, this would be an example of them. So I consider that that's what these might be. So let's take another look here. Um, not looking like the same thing. Uh, these are looking like ocean floor features and... Uh, mm, yeah, just weird, odd, goofy patterns, in my opinion. And the uh, the inconsistencies is... Like, if uh, if the locals had a process, you would think that they would, like, repeat the process. But there's, like, so many little variations. And, like, this one only has two lines. Uh, some of them have three. And then, like, what is this? Like, is, is that a similar thing? Like, just dirt, dirt, dirt. And then these things here just... Pretty weird um, overall look to it and like fainter ones like if you see this like this line and this like almost a faint one right there this faint line there faint rectangle almost so uh, another faint rectangle so much weirdness here and then of course here as well fishing trap maybe it's possible uh, but then uh, I also included these images of some kites in Jordan for reference. Like, look at the similarities here, like stylistically. So these are these coastal heart at the end of a line or whatever you want to call it. And then these are some kites in Jordan. So we have these lines with the uh, little nodules or whatever at the end of the rock piles. And this is just made of rock, so... Not a perfect heart shape here, but you get the idea, just like rock shapes or uh, shapes made of rocks. And you see how nonsensical it is. Like some of these kind of make sense as animal traps. Like you, you chase a herd into a, a corral or whatever. But first of all, they're not tall enough. Like some of these are only like a foot tall. Um, and then uh, uh, just the weird patterns, like it's, it's overkill for like an animal trap, especially for a more primitive society. So like, look at all these nonsensical patterns. So uh, again, it's pattern soup, which is uh, strategically designed to almost look like it could be something. And I'm saying these uh, heart at the end of a line is basically just the same thing, just in a different place with slight different variations. So. I see a similarity between these these little nodules at the end of these connecting lines like that so animal traps I don't think so I think it's just gibberish here's a good look another few good looks here just the, the variations and the nonsense of it do you really need all these lines um, so it's non-functional I would say and just uh, Big nothing show again, more of the same. And here's some other stone circles for comparison, just random, uh, random formations, many in the area, just uh, ha haphazard formations of circles. So it's pattern soup again, like that. These these haphazard uh, accompanying patterns, and even like this, this is part of it, but it's just like a faint nothing on the. Uh, out edges of it, outer edges, just like random features that don't uh, contribute much. 
so pattern soup including this um, coastal heart at the end of a line phenomena so I, I would say that's again like a a clue um, like a trail of breadcrumbs from one clue type to the next or like so when where we see these and we know these are bullshit, then we can go to that coast and we say, oh shit, is that coast bullshit? So something like that. So a trail of bread crumbs or clues. And uh, I think that is my last image. So in uh, the following videos, we will take a look at some of these areas in Google Earth. All right, thanks for watching.